Welcome to the reflection for April 21st, 2023. This week's reflection is from the Gospel of Matthew, a familiar passage wherein the disciples find themselves in a boat on the water without Jesus. I was greatly inspired by the series The Chosen, the episode, how they depict this powerful moment, especially from the eyes of Peter. They all see a figure approaching on the water and initially think it's a ghost and are terrified. As Jesus nears them, they begin to recognize the Lord and Peter, emboldened, challenges him. If you are the Son of God, command me to get out and walk toward you. Jesus does just that. He walks across the water, invites Peter into the depths. As long as Peter keeps his eyes on the Lord, he is safe. When he begins to doubt and fear, or in the depiction takes his eyes off the Lord and looks at the coming storm, he begins to sink. But even then, Jesus takes his hand and pulls him from danger. Do we trust Jesus enough to jump in, to leave the security of a boat, and recklessly trust God with our life? What life-changing, life-giving behaviors may form? How could we be different if we truly abandoned everything for God, truly trusted that he wouldn't ever let us sink? We'd be more aware of our sinfulness, more aware of his love, more appreciative of his creation, his gifts. We'd be more loving, more patient, more kind, more like the person we were called to be by God. Jumping off the boat from our old life into a scary, intimidating new way of life takes deep trust in God. It requires breaking old habits, forming new friendships, being exposed to ridicule, living not of this world but in it, being countercultural, disinterested in the promises of the world, living with focus and attention to God at all times. Even in the show, the other disciples remaining in the boat are screaming at Peter, No, 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 don't do it, Peter. They didn't want him to jump in. But Peter alone had enough trust, had enough courage to do just that. But in praying on it, you can ask, why wasn't Jesus with them in the first place? And in fact, in the show, he tells Peter, I let people go hungry, but then I feed them. He never lets us go hungry. He never lets us drown. Do you have the courage, the trust, the knowledge of the love of God to go ahead and proverbially sink or swim, or a better analogy, sink or walk on the water with Jesus? You can do it. Trust him. Do not be afraid.